dear students welcome to class 5 i am your science teacher your book is modern basic science i hope you are doing well please listen to the lecture carefully and do your homework please open your book page number 1 chapter number 1 the wonderful world of plants means plants ki khoobsurat duniya let me explain first we read this topic then i explain you plants are our green friends they make the world we live in a beautiful place with their presence they are very important to us do you know why let us recall the characteristics common to all plants and animals as we know that allah gave us millions of plants plants are our green friends their presence in the world make our world more beautiful they are very important for us do you know why because the characteristics of plants and animals are common next movement movement what is movement all living things show movement plants show their movement by opening opening and closing of petals and turning face to the sun like sunflower next breathing what is breathing plants breathe as well they take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen oxygen is necessary for all living things third one is sensitivity what is sensitivity animals and plants both are sensitive to external changes plants especially sensitive to light and gravity what is gravity gravity means zameen ki kashish yani uh, yani zameen ka apni taraf khechna fourth one is growth uh, what is growth like every living thing plants also grow during their lifetime fifth one is nutrition what is nutrition nutrition plants can make their own food using sunlight not like animals who depend on others now see page number 2 heading excretion excretion what is excretion all living things have excretion process in which they remove waste materials from their body in plants they give out oxygen and water vapor next last one is reproduction what is reproduction reproduction is a process by which plants and animals multiply to make more of their own kind in plants reproduction takes place by seeds spores or by vegetative propagation next reproduction by seeds like i said before reproduction takes place by seeds seeds are developed from a flower we learn about structure of flower a flower has four parts first one is sepals second petal third stamen then last one is pistil sepals what is sepals sepals are small green leaves at the base of the flower the sepals main may remain free from one another they protect the developing bud the second one is petals what is petals petals are the colorful part of the flower they attract insect for pollination the third one is stamen what is stamen this is the male reproductive part of a flower every stamen has two parts anther and filament anther carries pollen pollen grain which is attached to the filament like this last one is pistil this is the female reproductive part of the flower pistil is consist of three parts number 1 is stigma number 2 style number 3 ovary close your book now let me explain your home assignment you have one interleaf science copy please cover your copy with plastic sheet then maintain first part of the copy 
with name, father's name, class, section, subject name. Then open new page. Open new page of the copy. Mention date, topic name. Mention chapter number one, topic name, the wonderful world of plants. Draw margin line. Write question. Draw and label the diagram of structure of a flower. Page number, write page number two, mention heading structure of flower. Now we are going to draw structure of flower. First we draw uh, pistol. Pistol has three parts. We draw first part of pistol. This is called stigma. This is the female part of a flower. Then we draw second part. This is called style. Then we draw last part of pistol. This is called ovary. After completing this, draw sepals. Sepals are of green in color. Which is developing bird. Then we draw next part. This is called stamens stamens have two parts stamens have two parts anther and anther and filament This is called anther. Anther attached to the filament like this. The last, after this, we draw last part. This is the most colorful part of a flower. This is called petals. I label first part of a flower sepal. This is called sepal. Now it's your turn to label other parts of a flower by yourself like this. You can take help from book page number 2. This is the end of today's lecture. Please complete your homework before next lecture.